What's up fans? This is Suede Savard from Crazy Hardcore Wrestling and what you are about to see is in our six easy steps we modified this old entrance stage into this. Step one, get rid of the sign. Now this sign is pretty nice, but come on, it's so 2009, we don't even use that logo anymore. It's gotta go. Before you paint, you're going to want to make sure to patch up any holes. Me, I used these two thin pieces of metal that I got from my job, and I used PL400 bonding adhesive. This shit's going to hold anything together. Then, you're going to want to cover up any spots that you don't want to paint black. Me, I'm going to use this fire. Step two, let's paint it up. The paint that I'm using is just standard black spray paint, which is good for all surfaces that you can find at your local hardware store for as cheap as $5. Make sure to hold the can about 12 inches away from the stage and move rapidly in a circular motion to prevent any leakage. Step three, the barbed wire. <laughs> so while you're waiting for your black paint to dry, you can begin taking your measurements for the barbed wire to be cut, spray painted metallic silver to give it that brand new shiny look, and finally carefully bend it into shape using either a pair of vice grips or pliers. Step 4. Painting on the details. Well, this is actually a pretty easy step for me because I brought my mom, Helen Savard, here to paint on our logo on the top of the entrance stage. And I'd say she is doing a damn, damn good job. Gotta advertise. So what I've done here is that I've put the top part of my cardboard cutout, so now I'm able to spray paint the fire. Finally, some yellow. So the stage is all painted up, and now we're gonna have a look what it looks like. Step five, the final touch-ups. Now once your paint is all dry, carefully place the barbed wire on the stage where you would like it to go. Then I'm going to paint some blood over the barbed wire using red arsilic paint. Be sure to add lots of splatter and blood dripping down to make it look more real, like blood splatter. The sixth and final step, the curtains. This is another easy one for me, because I have my lovely wife, Miniac, here to actually help me out. Hey, guys. That's right. Stitch that up, baby. That's what I'm doing. This is going to be ready for season four. There we go. The curtain is all done. My husband's going to show you how to rivet it now. The tools you will need for this next step is a box of rivets which you can find at any hardware store, a hammer, scissors, and the riveting tool that usually comes with the pack. Now carefully cut some small holes in your curtain where you would like the rivets to go. Then insert the male rivet in through the front of the curtain. Pass it all the way through. Make sure it's in the front because this is the side that will be visible. Once you're done, Place the curtain on the flat part of the tool. Insert the female rivet, then your other tool piece. Now whack the fuck out of it with a hammer. Make sure not to hit your finger. And you're all done. 
If anything was unclear, be sure to refer to the user manual that comes with the pack of rivets. So once you attach the curtains to the back of your stage, you're finally finished. Well fans, I hope you've learned a thing or two from this step-by-step -step tutorial, and I hope you liked the video. Please leave a comment to let me know what you think. Thanks for watching.